The entire Donald Trump re-election campaign might be in one of the worst states of denial that I think I have ever seen. In addition to Donald Trump saying that all of those polls, which is literally every poll showing him losing to most of the democratic field, even in swing states, uh, in addition to him saying that all those are fake or they're inaccurate or they're not real, we have his campaign manager, Brad Parscale, who just last week, prior to Donald Trump's uh, kickoff rally in Orlando, Florida, did an interview with CBS News where he said that I believe if the election were held today, right now, what we see, Donald Trump would win in quote, an electoral landslide. And when asked to explain what the hell exactly an electoral landslide would look like, he said, oh, you know, he'd just get more electoral college votes than he got last time. Now there's several interesting things to Parscale's statement here. First and foremost, he didn't say he'd win the popular vote. He specifically only mentioned electoral college votes, which to me indicates that Parscale's admitting that <laughs> we know this guy's not winning the popular vote again. I mean, look at his approval ratings. So we got to hope that the electoral college comes through for us once again. The second thing, is that there is literally no poll available, including those put out by Fox News itself that show the president winning the 2020 election. And as I've said before, those are gonna change. There's gonna be ups and downs and scares and sighs of relief all between now and the election. So maybe those aren't 100% reliable. But again, he said, as of right now, and yes, if the election were held today and those polls are accurate, Trump ain't winning. Third thing, Parscale's 100% correct in his analysis. And the reason I say that after talking about all the reasons why he's wrong is because we cannot ever get a sense of security with regards to Donald Trump. After all, all of the polls showed that Hillary Clinton was going to win in 2016. Technically those polls were accurate because she did in fact win the popular vote, but unfortunately in our backwards democracy, that's not how it works. So we can't get comfortable. We can't think for a second that this thing is in the bag. We made that mistake in 2016 and I know, and we've discussed them at length that Hillary Clinton had a lot of issues, but we still, a lot of us, didn't think that it was ever really going to happen. We underestimated Trump, we underestimated his base, and we underestimated how much people in this country actually fell for what he was saying. And we can't do that again. The polls showing Donald Trump beating uh, or losing, excuse me, to everyone else are essentially meaningless for this democratic race. If candidates focus on the issues, if they keep talking about pocketbook issues for American citizens, yes, then we can beat him. But if we ever step back for a minute and think, oh, we don't need to talk about issues. We just keep hammering how bad Trump is and his numbers are gonna go down. If that's the way the Democrats are gonna act, then yeah, Parscale's 100% right. And Trump could be headed for that electoral landslide. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.